Um, so of all your books that you've published through your company, do you have some favorites, some favorite books, some stories in those books that are really amazing? Uh, I mean, there's, God, there's so many. Um, it's gotta be a standout or two. It depends on in, uh, for what, in what field. There's not you, just one overall for you, standout. For you, for what you stand for, for where you are. What is your book that you think of and you go, yeah, that was the one. Well, so, um, I mean, there's a couple. Like, I love, I love Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. That's the biggest book we've done so far. Um, I, uh, Tiffany Haddish's book, The Last Black Unicorn, really stands out. That I mean, I, I co-wrote that with her. And um, I mean, you want to talk about a book uh, impacting you. Um, I told her the only way I would write that book is if she was honest, uh, like totally honest. And, uh, and she was willing to do it. And you can go look at the reviews, especially on Audible for that book. There's I, I, something stupid, like 50,000 reviews or something, because hmm. um, the book sold so much. But if you look, um, you know, she's a black woman who came from s- South Central L.A came from nothing. I mean, uh, poverty, extreme poverty, you know, foster care, all this stuff. And you look at the reviews on Audible and you see like just all kind. if you can read two or three pages and not start crying, you don't have a soul because you'll stumble. Like it doesn't take long. You'll stumble upon like a 16 year old black girl who wrote a review. Uh, and she's like, you know, I had no idea that you know, Tiffany was like me, came from where I was. I had no idea you could get out of this. I had no idea I could be something like, I mean, like it's just over and over and over, right? Um, those two stand out. There's another one that uh, has gotten some attention. It's a memoir. Um, I think it's going to end up being one of the most famous books we do, but it's going to take a while for it to get there. It's called The Bad One by Erin Tyler. She uh, basically came from an extremely... Uh, abusive home life and she wrote a really honest memoir about it but then she also illustrated it because she's an amazing illustrator and it's she's our, the creative director of our company it's incredible um god man there's what else um those are probably the three that like stand out the most to me but, but this yeah. last black unicorn seems to have really hit a nerve for you yeah yeah cool i mean this like Anyone who comes from, man, nothing is actually not even, uh, nothing doesn't do it justice because coming from nothing is way easier than coming from suffer the suffering and pain that she came from, right? Mm. So it was actually harder than nothing. Um, it was almost like, imagine like, like a mountain, right? And people who like have everything in life start, uh, you know, two thirds of the way up the mountain and people who, who start with nothing start at like the bottom of the mountain. But there are some people who are like under the sea <laughs> oh. the mountain, right? and they got to get up to the water it's line first, and level, then right? to, before they even start really climbing the mountain. Right. Yeah. That was Tiffany. And so it was like, man, I mean, just like it, it was so remarkable to have that sort of courage and determination um, because I know, I feel like I overcame a lot of obstacles in my life and I look at her and I'm like, Whew. <laughs> man, I am so happy. I only, I only had the ones I had and not all of those plus yeah. like the 20 more that she had, you know, yeah. if That's you Google, um, Tiffany Haddish daily show, uh, Trevor Noah, uh, you should see him watch the video of him interview her. Like you know, like they, they always say nice things or whatever, or they just put the book down. He, I've never heard a, a, sh- a show host gush about a book. He's wow. like, guys, he's like, Tiffany, this book is good. And she's like, thank you. He goes, no, no, you don't understand. This book it's is really so good. good. I'm not just and, saying it. Right. He went on and on and was quoting from it. And like, uh, you could tell he read it and he really got it, you know, because he, he came from, I think, a similar situation to her. And so it was so awesome to watch that um, uh, and to see her like um, to see her be seen, right? Because that book was not a normal celebrity books are just completely full of crap, right? They, they're never honest. Even if they don't lie, they don't tell the whole truth. Tiffany showed up and told the whole truth. I mean, she talked right. about her ex-husband beating the crap out of her. 
Like, and, and like, uh, you know, uh, she had a miscarriage or an abortion and like, just, and then she went, ended up going back to him. Mm. And like, and she was just so honest about everything um, in such a, an amazing way. I think that's why everyone freaked out about the book because celebs are never honest and she was totally honest.